Criticate! I mean, you want Tail to go fast. I mean, going fast in general is... I mean, all of human... But that, that... Hold on. All of human <laughs> experimentation and science and everything we ever do is in the goal of making things go faster. Well, that's, that's not true. That's pretty much it. No, it's not. It's, it's going faster and living longer. And that's pretty much literally all you do in Sonic, is do things to go faster and live no, longer. No, 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 no. See, that's my problem with Sonic. His power is going fast. Yes. He, he's already fast. And that's, that's why you're not... Like in Super Mario, you naturally want to go as fast as possible and blast through the level. Uh, but in Sonic, Sonic's power is going fast. So to reconcile that, they just make Sonic... Oh, shit. No, I don't want to play the dumb minigame. I like the minigame. Uh, I like the Blue Spear game. It returns do from, you really? from Sonic 3. Yeah it, <laughs> yeah, it does. This comes back from Sonic 3. It was a beloved uh, minigame in that game. It was, uh, oh, shit. it was nostalgic for me, but... Mm -hmm. I feel like this game does have an overage of them. Yeah, uh, but they're all optional. They're just to unlock. They are optional. Like, yeah. like when I said, "Oh shit!" Like I was trying to avoid it. Yeah, you, you don't <laughs> have to do yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, ah, why do we keep doing that? It's gonna be good. <laughs> you keep saying that. I'm doing fine. Uh, go ahead and go ahead and say some things you like about this game. Things I like. <laughs> Come on, you don't like this, dude. I love this. Are you serious? This is so cute. This is Mean Bean Machine in the middle of Sonic. I think that's adorable. Oh, well, you don't God. like this because you don't like mini games. I like Mean. Yeah, I, but yeah, like, we, I like Mean Bean Machine. Before. But if it was in its own game, I'd be like, yeah, this is a good game. But it shouldn't be in the middle of Sonic. Yeah. See, that's that's your very you have a very strong opinion that I don't understand there. So I avoid it. <laughs> it, it doesn't make sense to me. Okay. Uh, you, don't to, you don't have to agree with me on everything. Exactly. Or anything. Yeah. I I, God I knows super you don't. <laughs> don't agree with you on on the whole mini games have to be in the game's controls. Uh, that that I I don't even understand that methodology. Really? Yeah. Why not? I don't get it. I, I don't understand why you would think that. Well, well but there's got to be a reason why you don't like why you don't like it. Well, because I just I enjoy having things that break up the monotony of the normal game. But I mean, that's a it. Game shouldn't be monotonous in inherently. It's an entertainment. That's like saying like a scene will break up the monotony in a movie. You don't want. I mean, that kind of happens. I mean, a scene will break up the action in a movie yeah. to add monotony, but it won't. Well, not monotony. I mean, this, but to take a break. Yes, that monotony was the wrong word. They break up the action to make things just a teeny bit different for a second. Uh, I guess I think that works better for movies than it does for games, mm -hmm. especially. I don't. Because you're 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 inherently playing uh, to do something. So there's there's already like. And, and the reason this is happening right now, this is this is a game called Poyo Poyo, and when it was <laughs> bought to America for the Sega Genesis. Uh, and Game Gear, it was it was brought to America as Dr. Robotnik's Mean Bean Machine. Yeah. So in doing this, this is a cute little reference. Yeah, to, it's a reference to a, a classic Sonic game, and that's what this Again. game is filled with. It's yeah. filled with classic Sonic banking hard on nostalgia, mm -hmm. which is fine. Uh, I think the way that it does it in this game isn't is it incorporates it into the gameplay in a way that doesn't feel intrusive. Like in in, uh, in a later level they have they, he has a, there's a boss that turns into obscure Sonic characters and you have to fight them. Yeah. I think that's cute as shit. Yeah, it was cute. It didn't do anything right. for me. This is the first <laughs> it did for me. I like uh, this is this I is like, the first unique level. Like yes, the this, last yeah. two uh, had made appearances in other Sonic games. Oh yeah, please say things that you like about this game. That I like about this yeah. game. Um because people don't like it when you're negative the whole time. <laughs> I'm not trying to be negative again the reason I, I'm so harsh on games like Sonic, like, I wouldn't think twice about criticizing, like, Virtual Buddy, because that game's objectively shit, and everyone kind of knows it. It's, it's <laughs> like, it's not a fun game. It's just fun to do. Uh, I, mean, in, uh, I mean, it succeeds in what it's trying to do. That's yeah. the goal, right? Oh, yeah, it does. And, but, and this game has a very set goal, and it succeeds in that. I don't agree. And, like, like that's... I, I love Sonic's design. Like, this was my... Sonic 2 was my favorite game as a kid growing up. Uh, and so I, I love Sonic, and I want it to succeed. It's just, when I play it now, I, I'm painfully aware of how bored I am. I mean, I can't, I can't finish this game because I'm so bored by it. I believe this game is dripping with love. And every sing and it, all the developers love Sonic, care so is, much about Sonic, great. and that's Whoops. and that's beautiful. And and th 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 uh, in case you don't know, this game is made by uh, uh, a few developers who used to be Sonic ROM hackers, which means that they created their own Sonic fan games. And their fan games were so popular that 
uh, Sega uh, hired them to make like ports of their games to different consoles, like uh, make updated ports, and those games were really well acclaimed. And so those games sold so well, and the and the improvements that that those developers were so acclaimed that they made that they had them make their own game. And this is the best reviewed Sonic game in the past 15 years. Well, yeah, spoiler tag. That's not that impressive when it, you it's realize not, it's not but, but th- this game has taken sonic out of its dry spell uh this oh, this bit. this game has made people have hope in sonic again uh and and no, no matter how much you like or dislike the game you can't deny that people no 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 people Let, are excited about sonic again because i was of this saying game. before this recording this is this is probably my favorite 2d sonic oh i didn't i didn't I, I said this is the best version of 2D Sonic. This, oh, okay. is, this is fantastically designed. I, I, I'm just saying that there are a lot of these problems that I'm mentioning are problems with just Sonic in general, with, with the series and with the old games too. And and these ROM hackers did the best that they could mm-hmm. uh, and, and like made the best version of Sonic possible. But that that still leaves some barriers and that still leaves some some design problems and issues. I, I feel like. Banking in on nostalgia is, is was it was a word you used earlier. Yeah. And I feel like that. that oh, seventeen. <laughs> shit. Okay. We'll cut it in half. Yeah, we'll cut it. <laughs> I I feel like like banking in on nostalgia. It, it's kind of the the wording of it makes it seem probably like more rude than you intended. Uh, maybe. Uh, I mean it to I be a little rude. <laughs> I don't think that this game is corporate. It's it's not. Like but, a game like Sonic Generations, as fun as I, I think it is, and as how much I like it. When, when I say banking, I don't mean like like a literal transfer of money, like like they're doing this for the bucks. I mean just like a lot of the fun of the game comes from like yeah, you see nostalgic characters and oh, remember Mean Bean Machine? Yeah, mm-hmm. like. But I don't think that they're doing that. Uh, to to it's not, specifically cash in on the fans. It's not heartless. No. It, yeah, it's I feel just, like it's because they love these things. And I admire that. Yeah, they, they love these things, but it doesn't necessarily... I mean, say say S- Sega hires you and says, create a Sonic fan wave. This is what you do. No, I, I would change a lot of shit. Well, <laughs> then you end up with a Sonic 4. No, well, I haven't played Sonic 4. Sonic 4 is garbage. Yeah, I it, know. It tried to do this. Uh, uh, yeah. Like, like, the thesis of the game was... Bring Sonic back to his classic roots, and the game sucked dick, and it, yeah. and it looked like shit, and it played like shit. But they that's because so- that's because Sega does not inherently understand what Sonic is. No. At least Sonic fans understand what Sonic is. And then they finally actually got a grip of that in Generations, and that's why people sure. like that game a lot. Uh, yeah, you can't sit, stick to the back in this boss; that'll fuck you over. That's what I did the first time. It did not fuck me over. Oh, like, dominant strategy, baby. Uh, I actually I don't agree because because I think something that happens <laughs> right here is. Um, yeah, they fuck you up in a little bit. Yeah, when, when you are running forward, uh, the game will push you back when you jump. So if you if you are sticking to the back and you just jump, unless you do it at the exact perfect angle, mm. it will push you back and the, the, the missiles will still hit you. Well, I, I feel like running and, and, and going with the momentum is the only way. The reason and I don't is because... It's because Tails the m- takes the hit. No. Because <laughs> every time, every time you've that, succeeded... Yeah. Uh, is because Tails took the brunt of the I missile. I could have still dodged the missile. I was I was in range to dodge the missile. I I no, you're about to land on the tail. You were right about to, and then Tails I took it right to the face. Don't agree. I, I I mean maybe that maybe that's what's happening, and maybe that's why I think this is the dominant strategy. But mm-hmm. yeah, like there, I just Yo, dodged it well, without yeah. Tails hitting it. Like it's the, you can just stay in the back and not get hit, and then wait for these blue things. Well, I had a little <laughs> bit more trouble with the spot. Maybe they patched uh, it. I don't know. I don't think so. Okay, this game's yeah. days old. Yeah, I had I had issues with that. I I, I did two at first, and then, uh, and then I did that. Mm-hmm. It worked. I mean, oh, that's still you still got good at it, and now now you can play it better. Oh right. Yeah. Uh, so this this is the first of Robotnik's hard boiled heavies. Yeah. Um, what do you think They're of this interesting. boss? This is this is probably my least favorite boss in the game. Yeah, this is stupid. Yeah, it, it, it's boring. <laughs> uh, it it doesn't really have a cool design to it. I don't like the concept. So so here's something I, else I don't like, since you love hearing me bitch all the time. Yeah, that's that's <laughs> what people like. That's. I'm sorry. I just, when, I, when I'm criticizing stuff, it comes from a place of love. I, I really do want, I don't think complimenting stuff helps games develop. So when I criticize stuff, it, it's to, I feel like, it's to move gaming forward. Really. I feel like being objective about things that, thing that I, the things that you like and dislike about a game 
or is is but way think, better than just being destructive? I'm not it, trying to be destructive. I'm trying. I'm doing constructive criticism. I'm saying what I don't like and and how they could fix it. Well, how, no, how, how could you fix some of these things? You could fix some of these things, and they do this. They they do this, uh, and they try to do this a lot, where you earn going up stuff. So like, if I'm I'm standing still right now. Yeah. If I try and and go forward and there's a slope and I can't go up it, that means I have to earn speed. Mm -hmm. Unfortunately, uh, since Sonic 2, you can do this and then just instantly earn speed. Mm -hmm. uh, I would like more that if you stop, you have to take a different path so that you have to earn that speed back to get forward. Uh, yeah, I, I actually, that's, that's, I, I feel like the spin Nash should have been added in the 3D games. I yeah, feel like, yeah, yeah. I feel like the spin Nash is it's a little why I don't like Sonic 2 as much as I like Sonic 1. Sure. Oh, yeah. oh, no. Okay, so I'm nostalgic for Sonic 2, but Sonic 1 is objectively a way better designed game. Yeah. So it's, it's just, it's crazy. Yeah. Oh, I didn't do this part in the first, my first run through. Yeah, uh, neither did I, actually. Yee. And if you want to know what happens in this part, you're going to have to check out the next episode of Criticate. What the fuck oh, is that? Oh, I'm playing Bingo! Oh, that's a reference to a minigame in Sonic 3. <laughs> yeah. Oh, okay. that's nice. Well, if, if you want to continue watching this series, <laughs> check out the next episode in episode 3. Whoops.